A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Today was a super exciting day. All day I've been out riding my bike together with super cyclist Jasper Fakel. We went, well, we just went. Like I let him take me on my bike and we, we drove for hours. He learned me a lot about cycling, about what to do, what not to do. Like my head's still spinning, but most of all, my legs are burning. It's like, it's super sore. It's insane. He, he made me like, we don't have mountains in the Netherlands, but we have these like little hills where we're not used to climbing up to. And it's like, he made me pedal up those, like not one time, but two times or three times and then race him home. I don't know anything about racing bicycles. So to me, the day was like a super inspiring, like for my new hobby. And I had a lot of fun, but I burned off a lot of food. Like, look at me, I look slim. Like, look, look at this. So we gotta fill this up, this body. It's a temple, you gotta feed it. That's why I'm gonna cook a post-workout meal. And it's gonna be so good. I'm gonna make sure it's very, very tasty. Look, I brought the steaks. We're gonna make this happen. Like. You've never seen this type of steak before, did you? No. Did is this you? steak? Because to me this looks like a meat, meat, pile meat. This is the holy grails of steak to me. This is the inside skirt steak. This is like, like a piece of meat that, that sits right here. And if you do like this, that's what this muscle do, does. Oh. For the yeah, for, for the, the abs and like course the, stability. Like, yeah, and the course stability and like the, the 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 guys that work out and want to have that like. But this is a cow. This is a cow. So the cow, but the cow kind of looks sexy to me too. So like, uh, <laughs> dude, if I see a cow walking in a pasture and she walks like it's a meat cow and she walks like certain and you see the muscles, that looks super sexy to me. Like there, it's awesome. I want to butcher them, eat them up. <laughs> <laughs> his face we talk about we talk like that all the time okay on this channel. So yeah, no. i'm sorry i do apologize i i understand it might be a little bit uh crazy this is really nice meat but we're gonna not cook it as a steak today oh this is also a great ingredient for something else okay so what are we making we're making burgers a hamburger a hamburger this is like the perfect meat to fat ratio to get a good burger and this is super flavorful. So this is gonna be the best burger you ever had. I promise you. But this is only, this is a lot of protein and a lot of fat, but where's the carbs? So we got, I got some bread. Look. Yeah, yeah, but this is low carb. It says 47% less carbs than normal bread. Yeah, that's good, keto. No, we need carbs after cycling. We need to fill up those glycogen stores with carbohydrates. So we have some in the barbecue sauce, but we need more. No problem. Ah, bread, carbs. <laughs> carbs, real bread. But I'm so happy. Good. Because I, th I thought like, well, I can't, you, you shouldn't be eating carbs because it makes you fat, blah, 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 blah. So no, that's, no, that's a misconception. So I can eat pasta, I can eat bread, sure. I can eat all those good things. Yeah, yeah. Like, if see. you burn it on your rides, yes. We got. Carbs? Yes, now. carbs. Good carbs, yes. fast carbs. We got proteins. Yes, but where's the sort of the healthy? Dude, we got tomatoes. I got onions. What's this? Lettuce. Lettuce. This is gonna be good. I'm hungry. Let's go. Okay, so I, I make like strips or? Yeah, let me, let me show you like a little piece. Just take a piece and it. And two, like a die size or like a little bigger than that. And then we chop all of this up. And that goes into the machine. I'm gonna put it in the grinder and then we're a team. Okay. But you gotta hustle. Big or small meat? Yeah. Don't use this one, that's oh. a steak knife. And then you always gotta make sure you pay taxes. Pay Do taxes. you pay your taxes? Yes. Okay, good. Oh. We, we also pay our taxes. <laughs> nah, yeah. Yeah, she, she'll eat it. She loves skirt steak too, you know? Dogs love skirt steak. Just make me a big pile. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go. We 
We got everything prepped, ready on the table. We got our cheese, we got tomatoes, avocado, like all that you could want on your burger. Yes. Right? So, when everything's ready, that's the time when you start firing up the grill. Yes, we got loads and loads of meat. But we're talking about grills now. Oh, okay. We got to think about grills. So what do you need when you want to make a burger? A barbecue. Barbecue. And you want heat, right? Uh, briquette. So you got it. Yeah. Charcoal is what we're going to use. Okay. We don't use briquettes. Why not? Because charcoal is more pure and you know what's in it. With food, if you have like the, the real product, yeah. you know what's in it. If you buy something like this from a little tray, you don't know what's in this. Processed. Yeah, it's processed. So it is more pure and you can understand what it is and what it does. So if you buy the right quality charcoal, you're going to have a better fire than briquettes. Because in briquettes, they put stuffing to make it burn slower. But, uh... That's all you need to know. Okay, okay. I got you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I got, I got the charcoal. When I do, when I have charcoal all gets too hot and too quick. And it doesn't work. Seriously? Yeah. Let me show you how we do it. First, we got to talk about grills then. Because we got a grill standing by right here. Do you have one of these? No. All right. Stop the presses, we're gonna solve that problem right now. So we got you a little present. <laughs> what? You can't make a proper burger without a proper grill. Well, you can, but you know what I'm saying? Like, this is like the Christmas show. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with this later. Maybe you wanna unwrap your present. Is this for me? This is for you. This what? is my gift to you. This is the Kettle Grill, the 22 with legs exactly the same that we got right here that big this this is the one this is that wow one. and it's all yours so afterwards when i teach you how to do it i can do it you can do it at home awesome of course we're not gonna let you go like that you're also gonna get this what's this which we're gonna open up so we can check inside what nice you're gonna get the Napoleon cutting board, but the good news is that uh, what do you need a cutting board for if you don't got the proper knife? So we're gonna hook you up with. Wow, nice. Open it up. What? Cool. Be, you gotta be careful with this one because you see this? This Ooh. scar? That's what these knives do. So now you can cut, you got your cutting board. We're also gonna get you like spatula, brushes, everything you need to flip. There's no way out of it. Then. There's no, like... The grill. So if you're <laughs> living in the area of Almere, the Netherlands, <laughs> just look up Jasper Fagel. He will barbecue for you. He's now becoming the future barbecue expert. Now we're gonna go back to the grill. So I'm gonna move this out of here <laughs> because we need to fire up our Napoleon kettle grill and start cooking. Our barbecue is up to temperature and we talked while the barbecue was up, getting up to temperature we talked about charcoal and I explained a whole bunch of things on how this works and how you get the grill in the right temperature setting but what we're doing right now is we're going to make burgers so we're going to need a heat and this grill has a cast iron grill grate so it's going to absorb a lot of heat and what we're also going to do is we're going to put in this cast iron pan what's smashing Smashing. You heard it. Smashing. Why don't we just put it on the grill? See, smashing is a technique to make really tasty burgers. We're not just gonna make them. You'll see. A great way to find out if your grill grate's actually hot, just cook some bacon on it. There we go. And when you hear that sizzle, you know it's hot enough, so we're gonna be crispening up our bacon. And the great thing about that is at the same time, the fat of the bacon is going to render down on that cast iron pan. You're going to create the fat that eventually is going to steer off our burger. Now we're going to put in some of our minced meat. And of course, we got some hungry guys here. So we're going to need a lot of it. Press it down with a burger press. 
Now that's what I'm talking about when I say a hot grill. And you need a hot grill to get a beautiful crust on our smash burgers. If you're going to put cheese on your burger, Jasper, don't use processed cheese. Mm. Square cheese, no good. If you want a slice of cheese, then this is already be better because, because of the shape you can know that it comes from a wheel of cheese, like the real cheese. But if you want to do it the right way, just stick to the nice block of cheese and slice your own cheese. Now I want to give these burgers just a little extra touch because of my guest and I want to help melt the cheese. So I got some whiskey, I'm going to sprinkle that on. There we go. Beautiful flambe smash burger. Look at that crust. I've never seen burgers like this. Smashed to perfection? Yeah. So now you can pick what you want on it. Okay. So here comes the good stuff. This is like, look at his face, like big smile. Straw onion. And then obviously we need some of the... And the cool thing is we're going to layer this so you could like have a little here, a little there, and then we stack it up on top. Oh, each yeah. layer is going to have a little something. Yeah. Okay. So we have one layer with onion and tomato, then one layer with avocado, one layer with bacon. And tell us, what does this, why do you want to have that on your burger? Okay, so I want the, the tomato and the avocado because of, I don't know, make it a little bit more healthy. Vitamins. Get some salad, like some lettuce for the vitamins. And then uh, we had the bacon for the flavor. And what did we need? Calories. Ca yeah, we needed calories. Oh, for the, like you, we need, no, we need... Uh, carbs. Carbs. All right, I'm gonna like help you a little bit with making your burgers look good. Yeah, you are the burger, the barbecue master here, <laughs> right? Make sure they look good in the end. And in this case, in your recovery, in your post-workout meal, this is a good thing. These are my carbs. These are your carbs. I need the carbs. This is, well, it's a lot of sugar, but if you eat this straight after your ride, all the sugar is just gonna go straight into your muscles. What you put into your body is what makes your body go. Basically, if you don't have the right Fuel, nutrition, it's not going to happen. You're not going to build up muscle. You're not going to build up the right uh, stamina, not the fitness. You're not going to get the recovery. It's super important to get a proper meal after training. So if you wouldn't have eaten right all this time, you wouldn't have been where you are right now. No. That's why this is the, the perfect, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, come on. This is like the perfect compromise. That was, I was okay. Say. The compromise okay. between good and perfect, like barbecue food, healthy, After almost training. healthy, really good. What, what do we do now? Yeah, yeah, cut it. In, what? I want to take a look inside. I want to see okay, the cross okay. section. Uh, let's go. Oh, you're being too nice. Wow, that looks insane. It's a big, big burger. <laughs> it's gonna be juicy and it's gonna I be tasty. It's like super juicy. There we go. It's gonna be messy, but that's okay. Okay, This box. is what we do. <laughs> All right. Mm, it has everything. It's I juicy. can really feel the crust. The you know, crispiness. The crispy. Wow. And the avocados there is like creamy. Mm. Tomatoes like juicy. And the onion gives it that little punch. I could train again tomorrow. Yeah, you have to now. This is like an endless cycle. It's perfect. This, this is a, pr a motivation for you to go ride your bike every day. Well, he doesn't know, Morrison, that we eat like this every day. No, who <laughs> does that? We do. This tastes freaking awesome. It makes you happy. It this is the, this is a very good compromise between proper food, good recovery, and a lot of barbecue. That's right. Cheers to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Jasper on his own channel. The link is down below. And uh, if you enjoyed it, then let us know in the comment. Yeah. Let me know if you think this is a good recovery meal. That's right. Love to know what your opinion is. And we love to know what your best post-workout barbecue meal is. Big thank you to our patrons and the YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then.
Smackly. Keep on grilling. I watched your video this morning, so I knew kind of what. Yeah, what's going How on? to finish it. See? Awesome.